Hi guys, in today's 15x15x15 15 by 15 by 15 project I'm going to use this plastic bottle that used to have a hand pump on top and used to spray water on house plants to keep them moist and I'm going to use this car tyre valve and this map pin to make an air-powered car. This pop bottle cap happens to fit onto there nicely. And I've drilled a hole in the top of it that's just the size that I can screw this valve into place. What I'm going to do now is put lots of hot glue inside and just a little around the outside to try and seal it in place. All right, that's a good lump of hot glue in there now. I'm actually going to put some more hot glue around the inside before I screw the top in place because I've no idea how good a seal that is, but if I fill it with hot glue and then do it up tight, hopefully that will give us an airtight seal. When this has cooled down, I shall get a paper clip and heat it up and push a little hole in the top here, or the bottom as it really is. I can use a paper clip, a hot paper clip to push the hole through and then it will be sealed with this. I'm not just going to push this through just in case it splits the plastic and we want this to be as strong as possible. This is potentially quite a dangerous idea this, pumping this up with air because it could explode. So I would suggest if you think of copying this you make sure you at the very least wear eye shields when you pump it up because there is every chance it could burst and you never know where the bits will go. Now I'm going to make the wheels and chassis. The wheels I'm going to cut out of these, um, well they're not credit cards, but they're store cards, loyalty cards, that sort of thing. Um, but I'm going to cut some circles out of them for wheels, or discs. And then I'm going to use these ball pens as the chassis. Uh, two for the sides and two to hold the axles. Just marking up my plastic cards to make the wheels. And then I shall cut them out use scissors if you've got strong enough scissors. I've got some tin snips as they're called, they're just a bit stronger than ordinary scissors. Yep. The handy thing about using these to mark out the circles is you've got the centre marked for you which is half the trouble when you draw around a tin or something, you don't know exactly where the centre is. Okay, there we go, four wheels. Right, that's my chassis hot glued together. The idea is that will just sit on top and put some rubber bands around it to hold it in place. All right wheels in place. I need to trim the ends of the axles off. They're actually a good push fit on there but I've put a drop of hot glue on the end just to make sure they stay in place.
from the fact that didn't go straight. That wasn't too bad. Success. Five meters with compressed air. Summary time. So what have we got here for our 15 by 15 by 15 project? Um, we've got a compressed air powered car. Uh, plastic bottle that was a hand pump for spraying water onto indoor flowers to keep them wet or moist. We've got a, a valve out of a car tyre that's hot glued in place. We've got a map pin, as I'd call it, in the back there. That's where the air comes out. The chassis is made out of four ball pen tubes hot glued together. The axles are barbecue skewers and the wheels are made out of plastic store cards or credit cards or whatever you want to call them. And the bottles held to the chassis with some rubber bands. I would repeat my warning that you can't be too sure of compressed air in plastic bottles. I would strongly suggest that if you do this you wear at the very least protective goggles just in case it goes pop or in case the pin goes flying around. It shouldn't but you never know. So I've been wearing my protective goggles while I've been doing this. But that's it, it was a success. It's under 15 centimetres wide, under 15 centimetres long and under 15 centimetres high. Job done.